Greetings. I hope you're all in great health. My name is Maria Fernanda Lopez, and I am an applicant interested in joining TWU's Speech Language Pathology Master's Degree Program Statewide Distance Venue for Cycle 11. In this video, I will be discussing what characteristics and traits I possess that will make me a successful member of In the summer of 2004, my life changed completely. My mother decided to grab a few of her belongings and her four children and embark on an 800 mile trip from central Mexico to Houston. She did not speak the language, had only elementary level education and less than $50 to her name. As a 10 year old girl, I didn't know these things, but this woman was teaching me a few important life lessons. To be resilient in the face of adversity, to stay persistent, even though everything appears to be working against you, and to learn to adapt and be flexible. Resilience is imperative for an SOP working in a school district, especially during your clinical fellowship year. There's a ton of new information, but you're still held accountable for everything. This can have a negative impact on your performance and affect other members of your team. When I first began, working as an SLPA in home health. The first few weeks were very difficult. I've never felt so humbled and incompetent in my life. After my last client, I would drive to the closest parking lot and cry. I felt so disheartened by the thought of not being able to help the kids out in the way I expected to. Instead of crumbling and giving up, I decided to ask for help. I reached out to my supervisor and my fellow SLPAs in the company. They were very understanding and helpful and shared their favorite resources and allowed me to shadow them. This allowed me to grow as a therapist. Even seasoned SLPs experience trying times. The nature of the job is difficult but I believe it is my passion, my love, and a desire to make a difference, no matter how minute, that fuels my drive and allows me to persist and give my absolute best performance no matter what. When you do your best, you set yourself up for success within your team because they'll know that you are a trustworthy and reliable person. We must have the ability to adapt with ease to an ever-changing environment. The main objective is to deliver speech therapy services to a client ethically. This could range from adjusting a lesson plan without prior notice to finding creative ways to use limited resources available and even learning to navigate teletherapy with only a few days to spare and no previous experience. Flexibility directly correlates with fast adaptability. When a person is flexible, it means they are teachable. And to be a successful member of a school-based team, you must be willing to learn from other colleagues and sometimes make time to learn alone. When the pandemic first began, I had only been working as an SLPA for a little over a month. In April, my company decided to transition into mm -hmm. teletherapy. I want to thank you all for taking the time to watch my video and review my application. I would also like to express my gratitude for creating such an exceptional program specifically made for those of us who want to become school-based SLPs. I kindly ask that you allow me to further my education at Texas Women's University by accepting me as a graduate student of this program. Thank you. I look forward to meeting you all May of 2021.